Hello everybody, Brian Piergrossi here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's time for Soulful Sundays. This is a series that I've been doing weekly on Sundays, providing some spiritual nutrition for all of us. And uh, we're going to talk about God today. What is God? Who is God? Where is God? Where is God not? This is obviously, and of course, this is my um, articulation of what that word means to me and how it feels inside me. So um, if it feels valuable for you, I welcome you to receive it. If it doesn't feel valuable for you, I welcome you to let it go. If part of it feels valuable for you, I welcome you to take whatever part you find valuable. So God, for me, is not a man. God is not a woman. God is not something that's in the sky. Uh, God is a formless, what I call universal creative intelligence that permeates and transcends all things, all time, all space, all beings, everywhere, uh, all times, most importantly, here and now, including inside ourselves. So there's this recognition and realization that God is the creator and is something that is beyond the potential to comprehend with our minds. It's something that we can't grasp with the power of our minds. It transcends uh, our ability to understand. And yet it is the, the foundation, the essential essence of everything. It is the creator, it is the prime mover, and it is not only the creator and the prime mover, but it is also the manif manifest. And so it is, it is the manifester and the manifested both at the same time eternally. So um, God is everywhere. God is in all things. There is nowhere God is not. All is God. Everything is God. You are God. I am God. We are all God. Only and only when we recognize and realize this, however, can we live from this place in the world. And I think that's the spiritual path of awakening is to recognize and realize that and maintain the awareness of that in the world of time and space, in the world of form, in the, the world of contrast, in the realm of happiness and sadness, in the world of pain and pleasure, in the world of good and bad, in the world of positive and negative, that this is an evolutionary uh, play of Leela, if you will, to use an Eastern term. And in essence, God is ever present and God is here and now. And when we can recognize and realize that, we become a clear, open channel. We become a conduit and our journey is to become a clear, pure conduit for this universal creative intelligence in the moment to move through us. How do we do that? We we do that by becoming as much as possible empty, open, vacant, spacious, clear, uh, surrendered. These are all different words pointing at the same truth, which is when the egoic sense of separation, the attachment to an identification of whom what we are is allowed to open, there's this sense of wonder. And wonder really is the connection point to God. And God really is the sense of wonder. God is something, again, that we cannot comprehend with our minds. So when we're in this sense of pure, open, vacant, available wonder, then a higher intelligence is allowed to enter us and is allowed, allows us to be a conduit for it. So we allow God to speak through us. We allow God to think through us. We allow God to, to move through us, to make decisions for us. We allow ourselves, every cell of our being, to be divinely guided by God moment by moment by moment. We do that by listening, by giving our full awareness, our full attentiveness, our full presence to the moment, to listening to this inner sense of intuitive connection and communion inside ourselves moment by moment and and being in a basically being in a state of continuous prayer and meditation of what am i supposed to do now you know what is of the highest benefit to all beings right now and right now and right now and right now 
And we giving, by giving ourselves over in this way, we are able to live in a way that is more um, magical, more miraculous, more in the field of synchronicity, more in the field of flow state than we ever could by trying to use just our heads itself, by using just our intellect alone to try to think out what is the best strategy to be happy or what is the best strategy to, to make it all work out in my favor and my benefit. Um, there's, a, there's a higher way of living. This is called the mystical path. This is called the mystical communion with God where there's a direct relationship with God, with Christ consciousness. And in this direct relationship, there's this receptivity, there's this surrendered openness. And the paradox is when you are completely in a space of letting go, when you are in a space of completely surrendering, you can actually, depending on your personality type, you can come, come across as confident or um, charismatic, or, you know, right? Or um, uh, empowered because, but it's not your will, it's thy will. It's not by your will, it's by thy will that all the miracles are happening through you. All the magic is happening through you. Uh, all the synchronicities are happening through you. By the grace of God, you know the, the the power of an intelligence that is that is exponentially larger than yourself, that knows what's best for you, knows what's best for everyone in a way that you can't comprehend in your mind is allowed to flow through you, and it's it is the greatest, most ecstatic feeling you could ever experience, right? It it pales in comparison. Everything else pales in comparison. You know, imagine the greatest. Uh, drug, the greatest, you know, beer, the greatest weed, the greatest uh, whatever it is, right? It's like it pales in comparison to this is the greatest high, the greatest ecstatic feeling that we're, that we're all looking for but don't know how to look for it because it can't be found with the mind, right? And the only way to open up to this ecstatic experience, this ecstatic communion with God, with yourself, with life, with the world around you is to be fully available to the moment, to fully open your heart, to fully open your mind, to fully open every cell of your being, to be available and to allow uh, your will to be released, to be surrendered and allow God's will to enter you and move through you in this moment, moment by moment. Thank you for being here.